without further ado, uh, Lego Racer. It's a good, good shaped cart. I'm happy with the condition of this cartridge. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. I try my best to only get games in good shape since I'm going for everything. I have a few ones that I had since I was a kid that aren't great. But a lot of these, like, cheaper games are pretty easy to find good copies of because there's just so many of them floating around. That it's normally not a problem. The big thing is expensive ones. But, uh, Lego branded racing. It's crazy that, uh, Lego games are still really big, but they're a completely different beast than what they were back in this era. Like, now, every Lego game... Ugh, high voltage software, they make good shit. Uh, every Lego game's like Lego... The Hobbit, Lego Star Wars, Lego this, that, the other. Um, we don't really get just Lego games. Like this. Like Lego Island, Lego... Uh... <laughs> Rocket Racer. Lego Racer, Lego... Rock Raiders. Yeah, high quality Lego, dude. Good. This is good stuff. I liked my Legos as a kid, as most kids did. Um, I didn't. Don't get you started on Lego Island games. I I didn't play those that much. I I did play with Legos a lot though. I had one of those gigantic, um, tubs of like five thousand Legos. What do you mean? 62 pages? That's wild! Why does this take so much? Why does it take more than Perfect Dark takes to save? Yeah, it's a race bus to move. That's crazy. Oh, I've lost my train of thought. Okay, anyway. Um, I had one of those giant tubs that was just like thousands and thousands of Legos, and I spent most of my time playing with Legos, playing with those. Um, I had a few specific sets. I remember I had like a skate park set. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I like skateboarding, so my dad got me the skate park set when I was a kid. Um, here's park set from like the 2000s. Oh wow, did I immediately find it? I immediately found it. Lego Skateboard Challenge Set. It's worth a whopping $20 used. Or about... Oh no, yeah, if you still have the box for it, it's worth over 100 bucks. That's kind of cool. I, I can't believe I immediately found the very specific one I was looking for. But that's cool. Skateboard Challenge Set is what it was called. I spent so much time playing with that skateboard challenge set. Um, but yeah, other other than that, I had the, the random ones, and I had some Star Wars ones I got when I was older. Build circuit. Build a racer? Is that why it takes so much? Okay. But yeah, of course I got into the Star Wars ones. I got the, like, X-Wing and the TIE Fighter and all that. Nice. Spaceship. For some reason, Legos creep the hell out of you. I could see that. Um, tight tights. That's what I'm going to Skeleton. No question. Stormtrooper? They do have a weird uncanniness to them. There we go. That's that's us. Make license. <laughs> I love it. This is How many characters can I have? This is Wimble.
He's, he's concerned. Uh, build. That's kind of cool you get to build your own car. I like that. Look at this just whole ass Lego brick. Um, okay. Not a lot of color options. Oh yeah, start the timer, yeah. Sure, we're technically playing the game, I guess. I like that you get to build. I can't make it any taller. That's a shame. Oh, is these the only pieces you get? That's not as exciting. got to box him in. He's got to be safe. Protected. I don't feel like there's... It's cool that you get to build, but there's not a lot of... Uh, not a lot to do with it. We've done it. Um, circuit, I guess. The Imperial Grand Prix, Tribal Island Trial, Nightmare a Thon, uh, Desert Adventure Dragway, Amazon Adventure Alley, Alien Rally, Rocket Racer Run. Wow, there's a decent amount of circuits. Wait, how do I how do I do it? Ah. Okay. Yeah, Wimble, of course. Oh, well, you can use a rumble pack? I gotta dig out some rumble packs and start using them. Because like, I mostly just keep the memory card in my controller. Match with the great Captain Redbeard. Give it up, matey. I wonder how this game controls. Is this game good? I don't, I don't know what people regard this game as. <laughs> I know people like the old LEGO games, but I feel like a huge part of that is just straight nostalgia. Oh, is there drifting? Okay. Oh, wait, maybe this is good. Yeah, I, I never had this one as a kid. I didn't have many of the, like, off-brand Mario Karts besides Crash Racing. Oh, there's shortcuts? Okay. My car's strong. But yeah, I, I had Mario Kart 64 and I had Crash Team Racing. And those were the two I played. Whenever I would go to rent a game, I wasn't really, like, looking for a kart racer to rent. Okay, can't use the D-pad. You have to use the... Stick. Is there, like, boosts for drifting, or do you just drift? It doesn't feel like you get boosts. And it's like Diddy Kong Racing, where, like, the color of the item determines what item you get. Oh no, I want to see what's back here. Shortcuts? Yeah, actually, pretty solid shortcut. Grappling hook. Weird. Weird. Oh, does getting a white piece, like, allow you to add it on? Oh, that's kind of cool. So the pieces individually are items, but if you grab a white piece to put onto it, it makes it better. So now I have grapple hook. Can I, like, stack the same color multiple times to upgrade it? Also, why is first place just, like, absolutely killing it? Like, half a lap ahead. Oh, okay, so extra white pieces upgrade it. That's cool. That's that's neat. This is like solid. Rob in hood. Android. Uh 
I like that our character's name fits right in with all these other ones, as stupid as it is. Okay, it's some strong variety in the tracks, too. I don't know the timing for the boost. I feel like... We'll see, we'll see. We've only done one track. But this, I mean, like, this game looks good. I mean, it's Lego, so it looks as good as... Cool. Um, as good as, as Legos can look on the N64, I guess. Ghosts! I'm, I'm down. I'm down with this game. Hey, chill. I just want to see, like, what all the weapon upgrades are. Also, first place is, like, killing it again. What was a grappling hook? It did nothing. It just hit the floor immediately. Cool. Great. Radical. Oh, do little pieces of your cart fly off when you get hit? They should. Yeah, okay. So you have to get the white pieces to upgrade. Collecting the same color does nothing. Red is shoot ahead, green is drop behind, and blue is shield. And that's it. It'd be kind of cool if there was a bit more variety. And you just get like upgraded versions of each of them. What do you mean, Rob? Like, you can stop. Except third. Like this, this game's it's fine, but it's not like oh, it's definitely not bad. But I'm not like oh man, I can't wait to see what else there is. For being a, a licensed racing game, trying to be Mario Kart, there's a lot worse. You could be Eminem's kart racing, you know? No one wants to be Eminem's kart racing. And that's not even the worst on the list. That's just the first bad one I thought of. Could be like Zoom Race or... Oof, there's some bad ones. What does this do? Nothing. It's just fun lights. Oh, I'm getting zapped. <laughs> Eminem's car. Man, I wish it. I wish Eminem had a car racing game. I'd play that. So shady himself. In, in a little go kart. What was that? What happened? There's a boost? How did I only just get it now? You know, it's kind of crazy how, like, ingrained thumb marketing is. How did, how did M&M's become such a huge thing? Like that anthropomorphic M&M. To the point that people just love them. They are insane.
Like, my uncle specifically collected Eminem's merch. And there's so much of it. if I prefer that. I, I think I like the, the like Mario Kart thing where if you're holding an item and you hit another item, you just don't get it. It breaks and you go through it. Whereas this does it in a way as if you hit an item, you pick it up. Even if you're already holding an item, it overwrites what you had. And coupled with like, I want to hold on to items to upgrade them, be a little frustrating. I don't want to accidentally hit something, but I want to hang on to my current item to power it up. That's a fun item. I like that. Yeah, Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong true. This is this is a lot more Diddy Kong racing than uh than Mario Kart 64. I'll say. Even down to how it feels, like drifting and everything, this is definitely closer to Diddy. I kinda wish it had. Jesus. Um, the adventure mode like Diddy Kong Racing. Oh! So I'd say, like, get, straight gameplay-wise, I prefer Mario Kart 64, but Diddy Kong's adventure mode really bumps it up. It's awesome. It's the reason, reason I love Crash Team Racing so much, uh, besides it just being a really good kart racer is that you get that whole adventure mode like you do with Diddy Kong. Yeah, Diddy Kong adventure mode is pretty tough. I've never um, beat it all the way. Because there's like the, you beat it and then you have to like beat it for real, like get everything. I've never done that. I'm excited to get around to it. That's a game I want to try to do everything in. How many races are there? Second place. Good old Wimble. Lego Racer. You've unlocked a new circuit. Okay, so you just get to go on to the next circuit. Dark Horse Dash. Tribal Island Trial. Royal Knights Race Ray. Okay, so there's like a decent amount of tracks. That's impressive. Like, they, I thought they might just be repeating, but are these all like unique tracks? For seven circuits? trying to check. Oh, excuse me. Um. Uh, each circuit has four tracks and they're all hosted by characters. The tracks are based off different Lego themes released at the time. Circuit races, uh, you race on one of seven circuits. Your circuit is four three-lap races, except for circuit seven, which is only one race. You get a certain amount of points. The points from each track are added. If you do not have a certain amount of points, except for the last race, uh, circuit ends. And that's it. Red is projectile, yellow is heavy blue shield. Turbo. Uh, cool. Let's do another one. 
Number two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five tracks. That's solid. What well, Mario Kart 64 only has like 16. Though I feel like while these tracks are cool, they 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 don't have the like level of charm of some of the Mario tracks. They're cool though. That's cute. Oh. This is the beach where Mario Kart has a beach with cheap tubes. I will also say, uh, the music in Mario Kart helps out a lot. This music, uh... Not great, I feel. <laughs> I, I hear a lot of a lot of toots of a trumpet right now. Yeah, the items are a lot more fun too. These items aren't very exciting. I like the level up system, kinda like Diddy Kong and all that. And other games have done it too. Like Crash gives you the level up. I, I like the way Crash Bandicoot does it, where you collect the Wumper Fruit, like you collect coins in Mario Kart, and if you have uh, Hidden Wumper Fruit, your item is just automatically upgraded until you get hit and lose it. This music feels not very good. It's very just like... I forget it's even there. Hey. Yeah, racing games have definitely come a long way. But you still get ones that are not so great every now and then. And most of my favorite ones are our older ones from this era. Like, I'm trying to think of any, any recent kart racing games that I really like, and it's not even really recent anymore because it was on Xbox 360, but Sonic Racing Transformed, I love that game. I think that game's awesome, but it's like, oh yeah, that game is like 14 years old. I have to remember that. games I played in high school are no longer recent games. Oh man, what were those? Were they? They were Lego, right? What were those Lego Knights? Oh, I'm thinking of those now. Um, they were kind of like Bionicle, but they were all knights that you would build. And you built them kind of like you would build a Bionicle. Oh, what were they called? I remember having those. They came in... The little uh, containers, plastic containers they came in, were little castles. But you could store their pieces in the castle. Not le not Lego Ninjago. I think that was later. I don't think it was Lego Ninjago that... Uh, that long ago, was there? The Ninja Go. That was... that Because they had the movie and everything. I'm going to Google it after this race. Because there was a Game Boy game, too, that I, I didn't have, but my cousin had the Game Boy game for it. I just had the toys. I was never into Bionicle. Nexo Knights? It may be. 
I can't remember the name. I'll have to Google that and see if that's the ones I'm thinking of. Because there was, I, I remember I had the blue one and the black one. I don't remember what their names were, but I had the blue one and the black one. And I think the black one had like a scorpion on his shield or something. Something like that. Hold on. Exo Knights? Lego Nexo Knights? Oh, that's way too recent. Uh, Lego Knight toys. Like, let's see, like, like 2002. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Knight's Kingdom. Lego Knight's Kingdom. Jayco! <laughs> yeah, J-A-Y-K-O, the main knight. Yeah, that's it. Lego Knight's Kingdom. I, I, that awakened in me. Lego Knight's Kingdom. Oh, wow. Are these... These Are these opened? Or are these just... Okay, new. New, they're worth money. Yeah, the purple... Purple one, Danju. Blue is Jayco. Green is Racius. Red is Santis. And Vladic. Yeah, the black one with the sc red scorpion shield. I had those, and I really liked them. I... I just played with some like regular action figures. I thought it was cool that you could take them apart and you can like build your own together by taking all the different pieces from the different knights and uh, putting them together. So I'd mix all the colors in different types of armor. Oh, yeah, and there was the Game Boy Advance game, Lego Knights Kingdom. 2004 was the game. I want to see... Lego Knights Kingdom. That's cool. I'm I'm happy, Nodal. I'm happy to have remembered that that exists and to see it again. Yeah, I I had those in the GI Joes that I would play with together. I had my little GI Joe mountain base. So many of those old to old toys that I have no idea where they are. They're probably still at my parents, like in the attic or something. The good chance. Oh, geez. This track is fun. I like this one. This is the most interesting one yet. Look, there's, like, stuff going on. There's planes flying around in the sky. This is definitely the most exciting track. That guy is clipping through the floor. chance to drift around. No, I'm stuck. I'm very stuck. Ooh. Oh, I'm very stuck. That's not great. On the last lap, too? Out of my way, losers. I gotta get at least third. Wow, the boosted up boost is super good.
Wow, yeah, there's... I mean, it's just planes flying overhead again, but immediately these tracks have, like, something going on. Man, like, everything gets a Lego set nowadays, though. And some of it's kind of cool, it's just so expensive. Like, I have vague interest in getting the, the Lego Nintendo, the Lego NES, but that thing's like 200 bucks or something. Like, it's just, I just can't justify it. They made the, uh, there's the Lego Atari, too, the Atari 2600 you can build. I'm like, that's kind of neat. It's just too much. I don't know why I'm avoiding items right now. You got the Lego NES for Christmas last year? That's awesome. It looks fun. It has a little TV and everything. Yeah, but money. But money. Don't think about the fact that the, the for the price of the Lego NES, you could go buy an actual Nintendo and like a copy of Mario 3 and have a couple bucks left over, over for snacks while you play. But the TV and everything, that's cool. And the controller, and it has like the little like Mario stage inside of the, the on the side of the NES. It's super cool. I have been tempted by it. I don't, th the Atari one's cool too, but I don't think it's as cool as the NES one. And I know part of that's just, uh, just bias of uh, this Nintendo, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's super fun to build. It's definitely a little, it's cause they make like the, the Legos that you can build and there's all sorts of different kinds of things. Oh, okay. That's a power-up. Um, is a Pac-Man arcade? Pac-Man Lego. Oh, that thing is pretty cool. I hadn't seen that one. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. You got a little joystick and everything, and it comes with a little Pac-Man and the ghosts for the side. I like that. That, that looks good. I've unlocked a new circuit. How much is that for? Oh, it's it's not that bad. Oh, that's a lighting kit for it. Never mind. That's cool. Pac-Man deserves it. Let's see. I'll do one last circuit on here. Uh, I think we'll have seen a good good helping of the game. That'll be like half of the tracks. Yeah, there's there's a lot of the like NES things I or NES uh, Lego things I see. I'm like ah, that's neat and all, but I don't really have interest in building it as a Lego. Oh wow, lots of bombs. Bowser's Castle. Because they have the, the Lego Mario now, too. Um, where it's just Mario and you build the little play sets. Once they make a Lego N64, you'll buy it. They do have... Um, it's the... Uh, Lego Mario play sets look dumb. I'm not too into them. The Mario itself is kind of funky looking. But yeah, they have the uh, the Mario Pal Block, that, you know, like he hits, um, or not Pal Block, it's the question mark block. And on the inside, it has like, I think it has like Womp's Fortress and Peach's Castle. It's got like Mario 64 stages on the inside of it. That's a cool idea. I forgot about that one. I just randomly remembered it. I remember seeing that one when I went into one of the Lego stores, and I'm like, that's cool. 
but it is tiny. I, I don't want the tiny itty, 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 bitty, you know? If I'm gonna build a little Peach's Castle, I want it to be like a decent little Peach's Castle I could like put on a, a shelf and display. I'm in sixth place. I need to pick it up. What are we doing? I know the, uh, the nano bricks are pretty cool too. Though, again, they're small, but I think they pull it off solidly. So we're latch on to. Hey! Um, nano bricks has done a lot of Pokemon stuff. And we have a lot of those. Those things are super cool. But they are really small and they come with, you get like little, uh, little tweezers to like help you build them. But you'll have a little, like, four-inch tall Charizard that is, like, 380 pieces to build in. I, I just did bad there. What's with the, the point distribution? 30, 20, 10 to 0? That's like insane spread. How are you supposed to catch up? He was looking at it. Oh, they have a far-fetched one? Dude, that's kind of cool. They got sir-fetched as well. Yeah, but yeah, first gets way too many points compared to second. In the bottom two places, get so few points compared to first, second, and third that you just can't catch up. Like, if you get first twice, you just kind of win. It's not really balanced great in that regard, I feel. But, solid game. Um, I, I don't really feel the need to keep playing it. Like, again, it's, it's good, but it's not like, holy shit, I've been missing out on Lego Racers. I'm just like, oh yeah, I get it. I would have played this a bunch as a kid. That would have that would have been my. I mean, I probably would have played it a bunch, but then been like, I kind of just want to play Mario Kart or Diddy Kong. Not oh, this music. Okay. Uh, turn that down. Yeah, it wasn't great, but it's not like bad, bad. I'd say. That Lego Racers is uh yeah it's it's very stiff everything about it's very stiff I, I I'd say it's whoa I'm I'm clicking on the wrong thing hold on I tried to interact with the stream instead of the actual web page I'd say it's okay I'd say it's okay yeah it it could if this could come out like now and that'd be cool i'd be down for that especially with like all the licenses and stuff they have now they could put like things in there they could add new content later of like hey we're adding a new uh circuit and it's all based on the mario legos or it's all based on i don't know like lord of the rings legos or the new hobbit thing or what have you or star wars star trek that'd be cool that's actually a really good idea and you could tighten it up and make it play more like a modern game. That'd be good. I'd buy that. I'd play that. Disney do that instead of the weird kart racer you're doing now. Whatever that thing is called. But yeah. That's why I'll leave it for tonight. Um, next time we come back to play some N64 games. We'll do some of these other ones. Play like Shadow Man or Bomberman or Star Wars. We'll play one of those. Um, we'll see if we can... They're all like not long but not short. They're in that like 5 to 10 hour range. Where most of these will probably take two sittings to, to play through. And we'll just keep picking away. 
was that 20 that was game number 26 we're we're approaching a solid 10 percent completion of the of playing through all these games we're getting there hey three tonight three tonight's not bad as long as every now and then we can have a night like this where we do three or four games we'll keep making good progress there's just there's gonna be some longer ones we've been doing a lot of short ones uh, but yeah that's gonna be it for tonight i'm happy with that um find something else to play tomorrow and monday um i'll try to figure out which one of these n64 games we'll play probably start like next weekend and play some of but for now that's that three more games off the list all of them but they, they all ended up like okay tonight right well we did lego we did bust a move and we did madden and they all landed right in the middle they were all like solid okay games so with that thanks for watching guys super appreciate it and i'll see you all next time good night Thank you.